6 says, which one of the following most accurately and completely describes the function of the second paragraph of the passage? Let's go back to the second paragraph. The second paragraph is where we're told a couple things. First sentence, we're told that natural selection is generally held to result in adaptation. Generally held. What's this indicate? What's this sentence about? Generally held, it's what most people think. Are we cool with that? Second sentence, if, if the strict constructionists are right, then the persistence of every attribute and the survival of every species are due to such adaptation. Okay, if they're right, we're gonna have this consequence. But in fact, nature provides numerous examples of attributes that are not adaptations for reproductive success, yada yada. I felt like this was actually the main point of the passage, or might be when I, was, when I first read it. But bottom line here is we're told the opinion of people generally. We're then told that if the strict constructionists are right, there will be a consequence. And then we're told that that consequence does not in fact hold. If that consequence in fact does not in fact hold, if that consequence is not true, what does that mean? It's wrong. Yeah, strict constructionists are wrong. So I felt like the main point or the main purpose of this paragraph was to say that the strict constructionists are wrong. And then the rest of the uh, passage goes into, you know, examples, why, and so on. Are we cool with that? Okay, so question six. Which one, uh, the prediction would be the function of the second paragraph is to, to tell us that they're wrong or that this is the main point. Which ones were we debating? D. D. Okay. Any others? All right. Let's talk about D. It enumerates the arguments for the strict constructionist position. Let's just stop right there. Does it enumerate the arguments for the strict constructionist position? What does it mean to enumerate? List them. List the arguments. It just said what most other people think. It then said, if the strict constructionists are right, we're going to have a consequence, and that consequence is not going to happen, or is not true. So answer choice D is wrong because it does not enumerate the arguments. Remember, this is a structure question. So in a structure question, what can you ask yourself as you read each answer choice? Is this happening? Is this happening? This isn't happening, so this is wrong. Sound good? E. It explains the ramifications of the strict constructionist claims. If they're right, this is what's going to happen. That's a ramification. That's a consequence. And helps clarify the relevance of the evidence offered in subsequent paragraphs. Um, that's a weird way of describing things, but if this is your main conclusion, then that would help you understand the relevance of the evidence that follows because it's being used to support that main conclusion. Claire? Oh, the ramifications. If this, this is line 16. If the strict constructionists are right, the persistence of every attribute and the survival of every species are due to such adaptation. That's a ramification. That's, that's a consequence of I mean, right. their views. You don't feel like that's a ramification of just, their claim? I don't want to take it for a long time. I'm just not... I mean, You don't feel like that's a ramification. That's your concern, right? That word? Yes. Okay. Uh, can anyone look up ramification just really quickly? I'm curious what the technical definition of ramification is. My interpretation of that is if you have ramifications, that seems like consequences. Or Maybe slightly yeah, negative consequences. That... Negative consequences, yeah. yeah. Something that is the result of an action or decision. Something exactly. that is the result of an action or a decision. That sound like... That's kind of what they're saying. It's not like a bad word. A bad word? Don't say it outside this class. <laughs> that's how I would use it. That's how, yeah, and uh, apparently it doesn't have that negative connotation. Okay. So that's why you didn't like it. You're like, oh, it has a negative connotation. Yeah. This was not a negative connotation. I could even see this, though, as being a negative consequence. Well, Con Con like, Con <laughs> Case, but see. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Okay, cool. 
Why All right, any other questions on six? Why is B wrong? B. It lists recent evidence. Numerous examples of attributes. Suggesting that the strict constructionist claims described in the first paragraph are incorrect. Um, but in fact, nature provides numerous examples of attributes that are not adaptations. Okay, is this uh, recent evidence? Is it listing? Numerous. Uh, numerous examples, but that you're just saying that there are numerous examples, right? Like listing recent evidence. Do we have any clue that this evidence is recent? At least in paragraph two. Recently risen to prominence. Where, where are you looking? Line six. Line six. Oh, but wait. Hold on. That's that's the uh, strict constructionist, right? It an answer choice B says the second paragraph lists recent evidence suggesting that the strict constructionist claims described in the first paragraph are incorrect. I don't feel like I don't feel like it's listing evidence, and I'm not even sure that we know that this evidence is recent. It says nature provides numerous examples of attributes that are not adaptations. Are they recent? Recent is the only hang up? No, I think also the word lists. I don't feel like this is listing out evidence. Here's one, here's one, here's another one. I think we're just told that there are numerous examples. That's the bullet point item. It's kind of narrow here. Like at best it describes the last sentence. Yeah. Um, well, it does say suggesting that the claims are incorrect, so that's that's kind of good because that seems to be the point of this paragraph. But I, I feel like those three words, lists, recent, evidence, are really just lists and recent. Because I don't feel like it's listing it, and I don't feel like it's there's any reason to believe that it's recent. Do you feel like there's a list, Constance? You don't seem convinced. I just feel like that... Tell me where that list is. That, well, it hints that there is a list of examples. It hints that there's a list elsewhere, as opposed to providing us that list. In an email, I could give you three bullet points, or I could say, <laughs> bullet points await. <laughs> In a future email. I feel like B and D capture the tone of that paragraph more. This, they are wrong. Yes, yes. Yes, but Constance, do you remember the number one sin on the LSAT? Anyone know? Do not be inaccurate. Inaccuracy is worse than incompleteness or tone. Okay.